My name is Kevin Clancy and I'm a member of the South Dublin Radio Club and I'm going to show people how to make a very simple radio and since this is Ireland um, there's only really one radio station that you can get on the medium, or not medium, on long wave and that is, is uh, on 252 kilohertz so um, it's a long wave radio effectively so there you go folks so the next video I'll be showing you the bits and pieces Okay, on this video we're going to show you how we're going to make uh, the, the, the radio using, first of all using what we call um, kitchen roll, that's, you know, kitchen roll is gone, you just end, end with, the, with the, the bobbin if you like. So one of these is going to make a capacitor and the other one is going to make a uh, coil. Now the capacitor is going to be made with tin foil and greaseproof paper. The coil is going to be made with this wire here. Uh, I'll try and get it in view now. It's 1.8 millimeter. That includes the insulation on it. Now this is known as garden wire. It's not stuff you use for electrical work at all. There's about 30 meters somewhere written on it. Yeah, 30 meters of this. And you get this in Woody's DIY. I think it's less than a fiver. Um, I'll also be using, you'll see it when the thing is finished, a strip connector. Now this one I got in, in uh, B&Q. Well, there you are. Now this wire here is just for hooking up stuff. That's all it is. It's thin, it's thin telephone wire. That's all it is. Thin telephone wire. Um, you know, that you're using for... If you're running a cable out to an outhouse, it's usually four, and I strip this one back to get the thin wire just for hooking up, that's all. Right, the next thing is, this is important too, you probably can't see this too well, but I'm going to pick it up and see if I can. This is a diode. I don't know if I can get this right on, on the camera too well. Um, now, that, I'll give you the details of this later on. This is a um, small little, what's called a detector diode. Now uh, there are many versions of this you can use. The one I have here is called a shock D diode. Now there's also a little little um, capacitor here, which isn't absolutely essential for the manufacture of this radio, but it does help things a bit. Now the other thing is, if you, I don't know, you, some of you probably have seen this before. This is a crystal ear piece. And um, I'm sure you've seen, some of you have seen this before. And it's what we call a high impedance. I'll use the word high impedance earpiece. But if you don't have that, not to fear, there's another way around this problem. You use an, an old mains transformer. It can be. Now this one I have here just happens to be, I don't know if I get the light on it right. If I can get the light on it and you'll see it's an old bell transformer. It has 3 volts, 5 volts and 8 volts. And of course where my finger is where the mains goes in. That's where you're going to put your <laughs> radio at that end. Uh, your, your little diode and the other end of it there at that end. And this end you will have earpiece. When I say earpiece, typically this sort of thing that is quite common today. It's, um, you know sticking in your ears. Now they're low impedance so the transformer what it does goes from high impedance to low impedance. That's the whole principle. Now I just have another transformer here to give you another, an idea. You're probably more used to a transformer that looks like this. Again you have when this one where the two red wires that's the main side and then you have the the low voltage side. The low voltage side is the where you put your earpieces. Now the only, I want to say something quick about earpieces. There are some earpieces that are very insensitive uh, to this operation. Now I can't tell you which ones are which, but that's the situation. Now what else is there? Yeah, just if you want, there's a few crocodile clips if you want to use them. Um, you'll get those in a uh, motor factor, especially somewhere like Halfords or somewhere like that. Um, now I also included something here which I, not part of the radio per se. These are just your average, these are your average um, caps that you have on your milk 
carton. Now I, I include those because what you can make out of those is if you put two holes in them either side you can make an insulator for your aerial. I'll explain the aerial a bit later on. So there you are. So this is basically the setup. If you can see it all there and get it all properly in focus. And that's it. So Okay, we're going to start uh, making the coil. So I'll just explain a few things here. The number of turns on the coil is 110 and that coil length of that 110 turns on the coil will be five I don't know if you can see that too well it's five and a half inches okay All right, so I'm going to start this now and I will need to get my sellotape on the job as well which I left on the other side but anyway I'll get it now in a minute let's read right across here so I'll have to start this I'll have to be careful I'll have to be careful with this wire it's 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 very it's like spring wire it's not like your normal wire and um, it will jump all over the place if I'm not careful okay anyway, so anyway five and a half inches now if the camera could swing around towards this area here I will then have to push a length of wire out of the side and you can see you can see there where I started here and the camera will have to come towards me I'm going to put this down like this and I'm going to start turn the first turn here and if I do this right this is just to give you an idea Push that in together. Bring it around. 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 Start it. I should be able to start. Now, I, I should have mentioned, guys, <laughs> there's a second uh, coil to go in this, and it's, you just, number two coil is wound over the, 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 the first coil, as is, finish off the rest of the wire, in other words, whatever, whatever is left of that. This coil here, as you see, with that, you know, it's the singular coil, I'll just push in all directions, so people can see what I've done, or haven't done. Um, this coil on its own would tune the medium wave, but there's no point in even considering that because, um, unless you want to, unless you were able to get a very good antenna up on a very good earth, you may be received some of the UK stations at night. Now, I have finished winding the second winding on the coil, so I'm just going to, if I can get a bit closer here to explain a few things about this. One coil, as I said, is wound over the other. You can see up here. And can you just span down here and I'll rotate this. That's the that's the coil underneath. And that's the coil on top. Now this is important. You have to take the coil underneath of the that's the first coil and join it up here. I don't know if that's in camera view or not. Are you? Okay. And bring the this is the one on the inside that's the first coil join it to the second coil and um, so you take this one and you join it this is the, the, the coil on the inside and this ends up on the coil on the outside on the top end of it right and then you just have this one out here which is the outer coil and you have the inner coil here so you've got two coils to make one in in coil, one coil or one inductance, call it what you will. That's what you've got to do, right? Um, I can explain that a little later, a bit more, if anybody has any problems. Okay, so we leave that aside now. We're moving on to the capacitor. So you cut tin foil, kitchen foil, uh, seven inches by twelve. 
So I have to start with the tin foil and I have to roll the tin foil on this former. Just roll it like so. And I'm going to put a couple more of these on it, put more bits of tape. Again, once when I get that done, I have to uh, more tape on it. Keep it together. More tape to keep it together. So you have just foil on the that, on the former. Now the next thing is now I've cut these already instead of wasting time. I have to use grease proof paper. I may not have mentioned, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned in, in one of the videos about grease proof paper. I probably had it there alright, but um, again, you do the same thing with this with the grease proof paper. Now, I have this slightly shorter at one end. I'm supposed to have some, and this is supposed to move like this. That's, that should, if you can get that on camera, it should slide in and out of this, right? Okay. Now what I have to put on this next is uh, tin foil over that. Same idea. I'm going to have to take that inch off the side. This tin foil will line up with the grease proof paper. The next thing here with this is the, the pasta slideable like that, so you change the capacitance, and I also have to make electrical contacts with them by using two bits of soft, that's soft wire that I'd mentioned before, it's, it's telephone wire, but it's very fine wire using telephone um, cables, so it's house cables and that. So that's the way it varies, up and down. So, what I have to do with that is, two pegs at each end so that I can vary this up and down like that to tune it in. So, you've now got your coil and your capacitor and the two of them are joined together. I just, I just twist them together just to show you what this goes like. This is very rough and ready. Right across it. And this goes to the other end here. Just like that. So you've got your coil and your capacitor and uh, you vary this up and down. Now I have a complete setup made already so I'm just going to leave this aside. Okay now you saw the the coil and capacitor I made. Well this is another set I made before and it's all set up but I've added the other bits to it. So if you, if you follow the orange wire that's coming off the capacitor. It is joined to the green wire here on top on the uh, coil. They are both joined in here which goes into the diode which goes on into this transformer and back around and back up here and goes to the green wire which goes to the other side of the capacitor and also the dark green in the coil. And you've, I've added two objects here. The white wire is going to a long wire antenna in the garden. 
and the other this red and black one is going to the earth now what I'm using for an earth actually in the house here is the central heating pipes it's a very good idea to use that because they're copper and they go all around the house and they make a good earth so that's what I'm using so I don't know I am going to take this off here because it will probably work better into the into the uh, let's see now this. now you should hear I'm listening to it at the minute so if I put this this is the earpiece that I have earpiece that I have on the transformer now the, the, the idea of this is the transformer as I said earlier on steps down from a high what we call a high impedance to a lower impedance so that earphones can work with that okay so what I'm going to do with this just to show you I think there's a bit of music on now actually so I'm going to put this on top of the of the microphone on the uh, on the camera right and hopefully there will be enough audio coming out of it to work that anyway <laughs> we won't know till later on so there you are um, so that's basically the the, the crude uh, radio set and as regards tuning um, you tune this by pushing it in and out. I'll do it on the other one. I don't disturb this one because it's tuned at the minute. But um, you tune it in and out like this. Now I use two um, pegs to do that. So basically, t I tuned it using this method here. In and out like that. So if I'm holding the, the, the by the wooden peg so I don't upset the tuning. So that's the situation there. Now, uh, what else is there? Now it's important that you get as high as possible, as long as possible. Now I put 20 meters there now. I don't know if people can do that, but it doesn't have to be in a straight line by the way. It can be a zigzag. Um, you know, most of us, in, in, certainly in the Dublin area, certainly haven't haven't got gardens long enough to run that. So you, you can you can run it to something back across and back in a kind of form of a Z, because that's what I have outside. I've a, it looks like a Z. So there you are. Would you hear the? It is. Hopefully that's getting into the camera, or into the microphone, into the microphone and the. Well, it should do it. Okay, so that's about it, folks.